Say my name. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest actors of the century so far. I don't understand you. It's your grandchild. What difference does it make how he gets here? For this list, we'll be looking at actors who have consistently taken on challenging and transformative roles, built up their careers, or have become massively influential in Hollywood this century. Did we include your favorite actor? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Adam Driver since starring in Girls back in 2012, Adam Driver has quickly proven his wide range of talent. In 2015, he appeared in J.J. Abrams' Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Awakens as Kylo Ren, also known as Ben Solo. That lightsaber, it belongs to me. Come get it! This iconic role skyrocketed him to fame. But it's his powerful performances in acclaimed films like Black Klansman and Marriage Story that have cemented him as one of the best actors to watch. Okay, you wish you hadn't married me, you wish you had a different life, but this is what happened. Drivers also hosted Saturday Night Live three times, showing everyone that he can do comedy with the best of them. Number 19. Timothy Chalamet by now, almost everyone has heard the name Timothy Chalamet. This young actor became an A-lister almost overnight. He got his big break in 2017 when he played the melancholic Elio Perlman in Luca Guadagnino's romance drama Call Me By Your Name. So what do you do around here? Read books, transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. Sounds fun. The film received rave reviews, as did Chalamet for his deeply empathetic portrayal of a lovesick 17-year-old. Since then, he's brought his stylishly intelligent brand of acting to successful films like Lady Bird, Beautiful Boy, The King, and Little Women. In 2021, he starred in the sci-fi epic Dune remake, proving he can tackle genre films too. I've been training my whole life. What is the point if I'm not allowed to you face some actual why, risk? Paul. Number 18. Scarlett Johansson Having been in the industry for over 20 years, Scarlett Johansson continues to diversify her filmography. Starting off in indies and moving on to rom-coms, the actress has experimented with different types of roles in a variety of genres. What? What's wrong with it? It looks totally normal. What? I said great. Yeah, I can tell you really love it. But in the 2010s, Johansson became a key player in the MCU's Infinity Saga. As Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow, she's one of the OG Avengers. And after playing Black Widow for a decade, she finally got a long overdue solo film in 2021. All that time that I spent posing, I was trying to actually do something good to make up for all the pain and suffering that we caused. I'm trying to be more than just a trained killer. She's mixed it up with other sci-fi works like her, Under the Skin, and Lucy. In 2019, she earned not one, but two Academy Award nominations for her performances in Marriage Story and Jojo Rabbit. She can really do it all. Don't you ever talk to your goddamn mother like that! Number 17. Gary Oldman Since his breakout role as Sid Vicious in 1986, Gary Oldman has proven he's a true chameleon actor. Why do you need money? Well, I don't know. Little things around the house. What sort of little things? What are those bruises on your arm? I fell over. Look, leave him alone. Yes, leave me alone. This man is violent! He's been a vampire, a Gotham police commissioner, a wizard, and Winston Churchill, just to name a few. He's consistently morphed into compelling characters in several genres, but with his background in theater, drama is where he really thrives. Give him an emotional monologue or an eccentric personality, and he's at home. It's a shame he didn't get his Oscar until 2018, because he was clearly very deserving of the accolade. I say it is to wage war by sea, land, and air with all our might and with all the strength that God can give us. But we couldn't be happier for him. Number 16. Matthew McConaughey after hitting the scene with his highly quotable character in Dazed and Confused, Matthew McConaughey became the go-to mainstream rom-com lead. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Christ. How you doing? However, the 2010s saw a reconnaissance. The actor dove into dramatic roles like The Lincoln Lawyer and Dallas Buyers Club. 
the latter earning him an Oscar for Best Actor. Ah, uh, y'all head out, man. I'm good. I'll catch up with y'all, all right? Yeah? You all right, brother? You cool? I'm cool. McConaughey kicked off the HBO gritty anthology series True Detective with an Emmy-worthy role as Rust Cole. He also portrayed an astronaut in the sci-fi drama Interstellar. The actor further proved his perfect comedic timing when he joined the star-studded voice cast of Sing. Number 15. Jennifer Lawrence As one of the youngest Oscar nominees for Best Actress in a Leading Role, Jennifer Lawrence first gained praise for Winter's Bone. She soon became a household name as the heroic Katniss Everdeen in the widely successful Hunger Games franchise. I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! At the time, Lawrence also had a prominent role in the X-Men film franchise as Raven, also known as Mystique. Her balance of vulnerability and strength made both characters cultural icons. Over the years, she's earned numerous award nominations for acting, including four Oscar nods. And at just 22, she won Best Actress for her role as the young widow Tiffany Maxwell in Silver Linings Playbook. I don't mind it. You don't, do you? No. Number 14, Denzel Washington. From stage to screen, behind the camera, and in front, Denzel Washington has solidified his legacy as one of the greatest artists alive. You're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. You say you're serious about doing some good in the real world, well, this is the place to learn. He's everyone's favorite movie star, fans and critics alike. Washington played real-life figures like career criminal Frank Lucas in American Gangster and the titular African-American activist in Malcolm X. You're not an American. You're an African who happens to be an American. You have to understand the difference. We didn't come over on the, the Nita, the Pinta, and the, and, the, and the whatchamacallit. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. He's become known for dominating the screen in action thrillers such as Man on Fire and Antoine Fuqua's Equalizer films. In 2021, Washington combined his love for theater and film, playing the lead in the tragedy of Macbeth. Number 13, Kate Blanchett. Master of accents and period pieces, Kate Blanchett is one of the most prolific and gifted actresses in the industry. She introduced one of the best Marvel villains as the ruthless Hela in Thor Ragnarok, though it wasn't her first time in a massive film franchise. It's not possible. Darling. You have no idea what's possible. Blanchett also portrayed the otherworldly Galadriel in Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit trilogy. You are a ring bearer, Frodo. To bear a ring of power is to be alone. She's received acclaim for her more dramatic roles in Elizabeth and Blue Jasmine, both of which earned her awards for Best Actress. If this impressive filmography wasn't enough, Blanchett played a whopping 13 different characters in Manifesto. Number 12, Charlize Theron. She's recognized most for her stunning beauty, but the incomparable Charlize Theron has demonstrated time and time again that she's more than capable of carrying a film. In 2003, Theron landed her career-defining role as real-life serial killer Eileen Warnos in Monster. Years later, I found out he died in a car accident. I was overjoyed. It was like God finally struck him down for all his evil. I loved it. Knowing you can't get away with your shit forever. Sooner or later, it's gonna catch up with you. Since then, she's taken on iconic characters like Evil Queen Ravenna in Snow White and the Huntsman, and Imperator Furiosa in George Miller's Mad Max Fury Road. The actress has an innate ability to tap into the physical and emotional identity of a character. This is just one of the many reasons she's constantly fascinating to watch. Number 11, Christian Bale. This method actor is known for his intense transformations, altering his appearance significantly. But there is no real me, only an entity, something illusory. But Christian Bale's serious acting ability doesn't get enough praise on its own. The dedication he puts into his characters is as psychological as it is physical, and it always pays off. Bale has played everything from a fit Wall Street serial killer to an emaciated insomniac to an aging American vice president. His portrayal of Dickie Eklund in The Fighter landed him an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Yeah! 
He even became the caped crusader in Christopher Nolan's widely successful Dark Knight trilogy. Bale slated to make his villainous MCU debut in Taika Waititi's Thor Love and Thunder. Number 10. Heath Ledger Speaking of method acting and Batman, let's talk about the scene-stealing clown in The Dark Knight. Heath Ledger's Joker set a new standard for anyone taking on the character in the future. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, 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 you, you complete. Me. It's a remarkable performance that earned him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and garnered lasting praise. Given his previous work in films like A Knight's Tale, fans didn't believe he could tackle such a role. Boy, were they wrong. But let's not forget his heartbreaking role as a closeted sheep herder in Brokeback Mountain. The bottom line is, we're around each other and, and this thing grabs hold of us again in the wrong place, in the wrong time, and we're dead. The late actor was a transcendent artist taken way too soon. Number 9. Tony Collette There are some actors who are criminally underrated, and Tony Collette is one of them. She's been both a leading lady and a supporting player, delivering equally mesmerizing performances no matter what she's in. She played the eccentric aunt in Knives Out, the dedicated detective in Unbelievable, and a single mom in The Sixth Sense. Do, do I make her proud? Colette got to play an array of unique characters in United States of Terra. While she's done dramas and comedies, it's the horror genre that really showcases her emotional range. Her character's experiences in Ari Aster's Hereditary were terrifying and devastating, and Colette expertly conveyed both. If it could have maybe brought us together or something, if you could have just said, I'm sorry, or faced up to what happened, maybe, damn, we could do something with this, but you can't take responsibility for anything! Number 8. Margot Robbie Robbie came into the spotlight with The Wolf of Wall Street. That explains it then. Explains what? Explains you. Since then, she's taken on standout roles in Bombshell, Mary Queen of Scots, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. One of her most recognized characters is, of course, Harley Quinn. It's honestly hard for us to see anyone else as the psychiatrist turned villain. And since her debut in Suicide Squad, she's let the world know that she is THE Harley. She brought the lovably insane character back in Birds of Prey, which she also produced, as well as James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Let's go number two. Good to know. And let's not forget about her award-worthy performance as the titular figure skater in I, Tanya. Truly iconic. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to do the best with what I know how to, Miss and Harding. you're giving me, a, it's like you're giving me a life sentence if you do that, you can't do that. Number 7. Willem Dafoe With almost 150 credits in his extensive filmography, Willem Dafoe is easily one of the greatest living actors. Younger audiences likely know him as Peter Parker's sinister foe, Norman Osborn, also known as Green Goblin. The skilled actor has always been a great villain. His chilling performance as Max Shrek slash Count Orlock in Shadow of the Vampire earned him a Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination. As you no doubt have heard, Max's methods are somewhat unconventional, but I am sure you will come to respect his artistry in this matter. And 17 years later, he was nominated again for a very different role in The Florida Project. 2019 saw him embody a stranded lighthouse keeper alongside Robert Pattinson in The Lighthouse. I seen you sparring with a goat. Best leave him be. Bad luck to kill a seabird. More tall tales. Bad luck to kill a seabird. Number 6. Lupita Nyongo. After starting out in theater and graduating from the prestigious Yale School of Drama, Lupita Nyong'o gave an award-winning performance in 12 Years a Slave. Do what I ain't got the strength to do myself. The actress continues to entertain moviegoers on the big screen, joining the expanding MCU in the groundbreaking Black Panther. Nyong'o had the opportunity to get into motion capture for The Force Awakens as wise tavern keeper Maz Kanata. That lightsaber was Luke's and his fathers before him, and now it calls to you." She also lent her voice to Jon Favreau's The Jungle Book. The director cast Nyong'o because of her, quote, "...tremendous depth of emotion." 
Her immense versatility inspired Jordan Peele to offer her a dual role in Us. So that's an Oscar, two big franchises, voice acting and horror. Is there anything Lupita Nyong'o can't do? Number 5. Mahershala Ali He caught the eye of viewers and moviegoers with supporting roles in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Marvel's Luke Cage, and both parts of The Hunger Games' Mockingjay. He received universal acclaim in 2016 for Moonlight, and again two years later with Green Book. And I'm about to embark on a concert tour, the majority of which will be down south. Atlantic City. No. The Deep South. Ali took home the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for both roles, making history as the first Muslim to win an Academy Award. You were gonna raise my son. Yeah. That's what I thought. You gonna raise him? You gonna keep selling me rocks? Huh? The actor had the chance to show everyone that he's a fantastic leading man in the third season of HBO's crime anthology, True Detective. Number 4. Viola Davis Before she was the badass Annalise Keating we know and love, Viola Davis staked her claim in the film industry. She's repeatedly delivered on the silver screen with projects like Doubt and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. No, we just thought- I ain't got no good sense, I know none of my music, I don't know what a good song is, what ain't, you know more about my fans than I do. It's not that, Ma. In 2021, Davis reprised her role as the no-nonsense, and sometimes scary, Amanda Waller in The Suicide Squad, a character we hope to see for years to come. Your mission is to infiltrate Jotunheim and destroy every trace of Project Starfish. On the television side, she's perfected the art of courtroom monologues on the Shonda Rhimes legal thriller How to Get Away with Murder. Whether she's starring in a TV series or film, or even on stage accepting an award, Viola Davis is a powerhouse. Number 3. Daniel Day-Lewis Although his filmography is sparse compared to most of the names on this list, Daniel Day-Lewis is widely considered one of the greatest and hardest working actors in the industry. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up! As a master of method acting, the actor always goes the extra mile to fully embody a character. For example, he remained in a wheelchair the duration of filming My Left Foot. Said film won him the Academy Award for Best Actor, an accolade he won two more times for There Will Be Blood and Lincoln. See, we've shown that if people can endure awful sacrifice and yet cohere, mightn't that save at least the idea of democracy to aspire to? Eventually to become worthy of? In 2017, he announced that his role as dressmaker Reynolds Woodcock in Phantom Thread would be his last but we're still holding out hope that he'll return someday. Number 2. Joaquin Phoenix Forever reinventing himself, Joaquin Phoenix has transformed himself into a wide range of distinct characters. After his false retirement from acting, Phoenix returned to the screen in Paul Thomas Anderson's psychological drama, The Master. You know, you should wake up, Val. Your father's speaking. You might learn something. Unsurprisingly, the actor garnered massive praise for his performance as a World War II veteran trying to adjust to civilian life. He followed that up with films like sci-fi romance Her and the biopic Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. But it's the box office hit Joker that really got everyone's attention. Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? He's known for taking dark roles, but the traumatized, failed comedian Arthur Fleck is one of his darkest. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Johnny Depp, longtime Tim Burton collaborator and legendary actor. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. Jake Gyllenhaal, versatile actor who's always up for a challenge. Gain insight into my organization. It's not at all unusual for me to make full-time job offers to my interns. Natalie Portman, Harvard grad genius and captivating actress. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan, steadily rising star known for physically demanding roles. <laughs> the Black Panther! Who's supposed to lead you into the future? Tom Hardy consistently delivers effortlessly nuanced performances. If you can't fix what's broken, you'll, um, you'll go insane. Chadwick Boseman, a talented actor who ushered in a new phase of superheroes. Just don't freeze when you see her. What are you talking about? 
and never freeze. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Leonardo DiCaprio Ask anyone who their favorite actor is and they'll likely say Leonardo DiCaprio. The legendary actor has brought many a character to life. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. He's played heroes, villains, famous millionaires, and desperate con men. From the icy wilderness to lavish mansions, Leo has done it all. But it's his captivating performance as frontiersman Hugh Glass in The Revenant that finally won him the Oscar. That was no deal. Oh, my boy. What makes DiCaprio so intriguing is how he brings his naturally observant nature into each role. DiCaprio is a true master of the craft, and arguably his generation's greatest actor. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.